Hello, I'm Tiffany and welcome to The Raw Report. Unable to tweet his train of thought views to millions on Twitter following his permanent ban from the social media platform, the former leader of the free world has been emailing his contemplations to reporters. On Wednesday evening, as legal experts were ridiculing Trump's latest filing in his lawsuit against Twitter, Trump repeatedly emailed out statements trashing senior Republicans. It started after 8 p.m. Eastern when Trump trashed the 43rd president of the United States as a rhino, which stands for Republican in name only. Trump wrote, Rhino former President George W. Bush and his flunky Karl Rove are endorsing warmongering and very low polling. Liz Cheney. Bush is the one who got us into the quicksand of the Middle East and after spending trillions of dollars and killing ne nearly a million people, the Middle East was left in worse shape after 21 years than it was when he started his stupidity." End quote. Trump's rage against his own party then turned to his complaints that the media has evidence of election fraud, even though he went on to say such evidence was not yet public, and even though his lies of election fraud have been thoroughly debunked. It was then time for GOP senators to share the hot seat. To quote Trump, I spent virtually no time with Senators Mike Lee of Utah or Lindsey Graham of South Carolina talking about the 2020 presidential election scam, or as it is viewed by many, the crime of the century. Lindsey and Mike should be ashamed of themselves for not putting up the fight necessary to win, Trump said of his failed coup attempt. Trump was apparently referring to reports in the book Peril by Bob Woodward and Robert Costa that Lee and Graham had investigated claims of election fraud and found they added up to nothing. Trump continued to trash the Republican Party for not overturning the election, which was won by Joe Biden. Quote, the Democrats are vicious and fighting like hell. And the Republicans do nothing about it. Dinos fight harder against Republicans than they do against Democrats. They want to be so politically correct, even if that means losing our country, which is happening now, Trump claimed. Even though Republicans lost control of both the Senate and House of Representatives on Trump's watch, he voiced his wishes that they could schedule hearings. Quote, they should be ashamed of themselves. Why don't they have hearings? Or even if just Republicans had open public sessions, we would all hear the irrefutable facts. Trump argued, even though the irrefutable fact is that he lost. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of the Raw Report, be sure to like and subscribe and join others who like their news raw too.